you know, I spent so many years researching this book that I thought it would be okay to call it the complete cups and balls. So I need a pretty good excuse to revisit this topic. And Dick Williams gave me a good excuse. A lot of brilliant people have spent a lot of time thinking about the cups and balls, and I've studied it for over 30 years. But what Dick Williams proposed was new to me. The idea is the spectator performs the entire routine fooling the audience and himself as he does so. It's really cool when someone sees something new in a classic that takes it to another level. Dick wanted me to play around with the idea and I did. And after 10 years of evolution, I present to you Four Minutes of Fame. It begins by having the cups examined. Then an uninitiated, unstooged spectator puts a ball into a cup and begins doing magic. The routine ends in an unexpected but totally organic way that creates a perfect theatrical circle. You can perform this at a restaurant table or on stage. <laughs> this routine isn't about eye candy or flashy moves, but I like that stuff sometimes. So I added some things at the end you might like. They didn't fit this particular routine, but they're fun to do and I think you'll like them. Let me end by saying this. Audiences really like this. They like it so much that I had to ask myself why. You know why they like it? Because you make the spectator look good. You make them feel good. You make them happy about being there. It doesn't always turn out that way in a magic show. So this works on a variety of levels. 